Good morning. It is the morning after the 420k ride. And I thought I would do a video showing you what I kind of do to recover the day after a big ride. So, just woken up. I'm just about to get up, get some water, get some breakfast, and then I'll show you my little, little post big ride routine. Good morning, I am up. So the first thing I do is have electrolytes. I know you have electrolytes when you're riding, but I always do it the morning after as well, just to replenish some of the lost minerals. And the ones that I use are Precision Hydration. I'm not sponsored, but they're just my favorite ones because they, they are like really like super strength and they've not got any kind of like bizarre ingredients. And I think a lot of electrolytes have just got loads of like weird stuff in them. Um, and they're like the most natural ones I've found. They are quite expensive, but I like them. And then also I have, I always make a banana smoothie. Again, just to get like the, the minerals and stuff like potassium and stuff back into my body that I've lost through excessive sweating yesterday. In that is just frozen bananas, water, and a bit of sugar. I'm gonna drink those now, and then I'm gonna go and do some stretching. Like actual stretching, not just little stretch like this. Oh, look how weird my arms are. They're like double jointed, you see? They go the opposite way, so if my arms are like that, that's that's them on top. I don't know why this is the most ridiculous thing. But look, like the double jointed, so like when I put my arm out, that bit's on top. Anyone else like that? Anyway, I'm gonna go and do have that and then actually do some proper stretching. Basically, I'm just gonna do my little stretching routine. I'll leave a link to this video. It is all my favourite like stretches for hips, hamstrings, glutes, all the stuff that you use on the bike. Oh god. I also did this last night when I got back, literally like, god what time was it, like 2 in the morning, I did like a really quick 5 minute routine of this, because I know that my legs feel better when I do do it, so after a long ride just give yourself that 5 minutes because it does make a lot of difference, even though you don't want to do it, I just want to get in bed. But so another thing that I do, apart from stretching when I get in from the ride and the day after, is use my chamois cream. So I am sponsored by Slipstream, but it is the best chamois cream that I've ever used because you can use it as a chamois cream and then also as like a post-ride balm. So as soon as I get in from the ride and I've showered, I put some of that on. And then also the day after, I just put a little bit on because as comfortable as your saddle and your shorts are, it's just pressure for a long time on that area, so I just put a little bit of post-ride balm on. It's got aloe vera, it's vegan, it's just, I really love it. Um, I'll leave a link to that as well. I think it's like a tenner a tube and it literally, that will last me probably a year. I'm gonna get dressed properly now, so I'm gonna go out um, for a little bit, go for a little walk, so I'll take you along. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like my morning routine and I will catch up with you in a little bit. So I don't always do this the day after a ride, but today we've come to Wales just for a little walk and then now the most important thing is uh, getting some good old food in. So we've got soup, um, my friends have brought a little stove so we're heating that up and we've made some pizza, that pizza that you saw, all homemade, I'll do a recipe video on it because it is the best pizza ever, I love it. So yeah, just a little walk up there and then I'm going to eat food. Can you go in it? It's a nice view, isn't it? Oh my god, that looks so good. And now I'm back in bed. Uh, it actually looks like I've got no clothes on. I do have clothes on. Uh, just in case anyone is like thinking I'm just laying in bed naked, just filming myself. It's not kind of, kind of that's not that kind of channel. Um, but yeah, I want to get on to other things that I do for recovery. So as you saw, we went for a walk, I had food, and then we just kind of lazed around in the sun, which was really nice. But the other thing I wanted to mention was, because I'm trying to get an early night now just to catch up on sleep, the one major thing that I don't do 
that I've not mentioned is I don't have caffeine. So I don't generally have caffeine every day. I'm trying to think the last time I had a coffee. If I ever do, I have decaf anyway. But I find that if I have like caffeine on those kind of rides, like you might think, oh, it's because I'm tired. I'll, I'll have a coffee or something or a Coke. For me, I find that just, just doesn't work. Um, I sometimes find it makes me feel a little bit sick. And then also I kind of feel like you get like the high from the caffeine and then you just like drop down again. So it doesn't last very long. Um, and then also the problem that you have with caffeine is that you it then affects your recovery. So if I'd have had like, I don't know, a coffee, two or three coffees on that like night section of the ride, when I got back, my body wouldn't have felt, I don't know what the word is like, it would have had the caffeine still there and I wouldn't have been able to relax and sleep um, as I would if I'd not had the caffeine. So I find that for recovery, it's really important not to mess around with caffeine so that your body can just naturally do what it wants to do. And like, if I had have been like falling asleep on the bike, like obviously I wouldn't get to that point because it's dangerous. I would just, I would have stopped before and just had to lie down somewhere and just had like five, 10 minutes just with my eyes closed, which makes a massive difference on those long rides. You wouldn't think it does, but it does. Yeah, on that note, I've been jabbing for a while, so I'm gonna go and I will see you all next video. If you've got any questions about this, leave them in the comments, I will answer them down there. And yeah, I'll see you next video. Ow. I don't really sweat from like <laughs> my armpits, but I always sweat like from the back of my neck. If you are long-term viewers, you'll know what these are. Oh, my favourite saddles, but I was like, I can't have them in the shop. Let's just put them out of the way.